This is video two of lesson eight AM propositions. Uh, what we're going to talk about next is the definition of a negation. So the notation of not P, or you will also see it as not P, means not P. In English, we usually negate a statement by using the word not. If the original statement is true, then the negation is false. If the original statement is false, then the negation is true. So here's some examples. Example three, here's the proposition, proposition P. It is raining. The negation of P is, it is not raining. Example four, the proposition P, Tim has brown hair. The negation of P is Tim does not have brown hair. Below is a representation of what we call a truth table. And these will be some easier truth tables this lesson. They are going to get a little more challenging, um, and you'll be seeing these on your IB exams. So the first column is the possible truth values for P. So if we think back to this example, here's P, where yes, it could be raining, or false, it's not raining. So these would be the two possibilities for P. It's raining or it's not raining. Then the second column is going to be the negation, the opposite of the proposition. So in this first table, it's raining here, it's not raining. So then in the second column, the false would be, it's not raining. And then the below would be, it is raining. All right, so what you're gonna be seeing in your assignment is just setting up this part here and that part there. You won't actually have to use the words. All right, next topic. Um, a set is a group of objects or ideas you're already familiar with. So these were um, introduced to you back in September. I thought it was a good idea for us to review these since it's been a while. So the letter N, the notation for N, is your natural or counting numbers starting with zero. Uh, the letter Z, the notation for that is your integers. So that's your positives and negatives. Z plus are all your positive integers. Z minus are all your negative integers. So again, natural or counting, integers, positive integers, negative integers. All right, the next type is your letter Q. Q is all your rational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers can be written as a fraction. R is the real numbers, which you think about on your number line below. Here's your number line. Okay, so we actually did this example early in September where this is called set notation or set builder notation. How we say this set A is X such that um, X is greater than or equal to negative two and less than or equal to four for all of our integers. So on a number line, this would be its representation. So then it says, is set um, A, does it have the number seven in it? No, that would not be, or the number of elements in the set is seven. So there's seven elements. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, um, one more example below for a finite set. Uh, so set B is all the real numbers 
for x greater than or equal to negative 2 and less than 4. So here's how I would look on a number line. And the number of items in the set is infinite because you could have a number sitting here between 0 and negative 2, a decimal value. Maybe there's another number here at maybe 1.5. So that's just a little bit of review of the number uh, set, set notation, and what does negation mean.